What's up guys, we are back with another Mythic Legions Reinforcements review and we're taking a look at probably my most excited figure to see get revealed in those batches of reveal videos that went out because while I had the packaging for that Gold Knight figure and I got to see everything, I didn't necessarily know all the details surrounding every figure. So when I saw that there was an orc on the box, I was instantly interested because I like orcs, but then I saw that he had a pretty rad new head sculpt, so I knew it was a new figure, and I didn't know that he was a shadow orc, but when I found that out, I was even more interested. So uh, I'm pretty excited to be taking a look at our shadow orc grunt. Now, he of course comes in our standard Legion style package, everything you're used to seeing, figure in the window, faction card on one spot, bio on the other, and then the back of the box gives us that terrific artwork again, our mythos write up, and then of course, our cross sell for every figure in this wave. So let's do it. Let's pull them out and take a look. And here we go out of the package, our Mythic Legion's reinforcements to Shadow Orc Grunt. So we got an actual Legion builder on deck right now. So that of course means less detailed paint applications, cheaper price as well. And this guy is an actual, well, it's in his name. He's a Shadow Orc. So if you are a fan of Gorthok, you can beef up his little group and give him some legitimate Shadow Orcs now. So I'm pretty excited about that. And if you don't have Gorthok, you're gonna have a chance to get him because he's coming out again in an All-Stars wave. So very much time for Shadow Orcs. Now, this is a, a combination of various old 1.0 parts with some new stuff, specifically the head sculpt. And then of course, you know, he's got a very, uh, a very unique color scheme by virtue of being a Shadow Orc. So let's see what this guy can do, see how he moves around. We've got, We've got pretty standard articulation here for a Legion, so you're gonna know what to expect. Head goes up. Head doesn't go down too much, just just barely. Little bit of tilt side to side, full rotation. The horns can spin if you wanna do that. I feel like if I've got one gripe about this figure, they're kinda loose. You know, they're always meant to come out, but they, I feel like if I maybe move him too much, they're just gonna fall right out. Both of them do that, so it's not just one. Arms go out. They, of course, spin at the shoulder. You've got your single jointed rotating elbow. You've got gauntlet swivel. We've got swivel at the wrist and hinge. Single piece torso, of course, so he goes backwards and he goes forwards a little bit. Got a little bit of tilt side to side, full rotation, of course. Legs are gonna go out at the hips, about all the way. They kick forward pretty much all the way. Backwards as well. You got your thigh twist up there. Of course, we've got single jointed knees with swivel. And then you've got swivel at the top of the ankle. And then you've got a little bit of rocker and we've got our hinges down there for our ankles. So, you know, pretty standard. It's all 1.0 stuff. If you've been in the game, well, at all, when it comes to legions, you know exactly how this guy can move. Now, as far as the overall look and feel on this guy, in general, I'm pretty happy with this. There's a lot of cool stuff going on with this figure. I'm not 100% happy with some of it, which is pretty rare for me when it comes to legions. It's more of a more of a personal thing. It's not like anything's wrong with it. I just don't like the direction a couple things took. This is a Legion builder, so that has to be taken into consideration when talking about this, because at face value, he's not gonna be as detailed as other figures in the line. That is to say, though, he is still very painted. Like, there's, it's not a lack of paint on these figures. It's just a lack of more intricate detail. So, you know, none of the rivets are painted. None of the stuff in the actual belt is painted. None of that kind of stuff. And as a result, there is one thing that does stand out at me as kind of odd, and it's this loincloth piece being such a different color from everything else. And it just really throws me off. So I'm definitely gonna hit that with something. I think it needs a wash at minimum, and then it needs to have those little like rivets or whatever they would be on that piece uh, painted just to make them pop a bit. I feel like, despite that not being something I do a lot of, I feel like it's needed on this one. Um, it, it's just like this weird mud color is really garish in comparison to the rest of that armor. It's, it's okay. It's just an odd color change, I suppose, uh, from my perspective. Now, I have mentioned Gorthok quite a bit. They are really similar, and I might as well go ahead and bring them in so we can do this and get it out of the way. So here's Gorthok and here's our Grunt. And they are really similar, but they're not exactly the same. So, I mean, obviously they're very different in terms of parts, but in terms of color, they're also not the same. Similar, but not the same. Skin tone is pretty close. Gorthok has a very unique look though, because he has this modeled paint job that runs down one side of his, of his chest and his thigh, and then it's also on his chin. The armor is also not the same color. I don't, I don't think it has to be or necessarily that it's supposed to be either, but just worth mentioning, Gorthox is more on the blue side. The Shadow Orc does lean blue, 
but it is more gray gunmetal than blue. I do think, however, that they look really nice next to each other, so I'm still happy with that. They don't have to be, you know, exactly, exactly the same, right? It's not, not that important. Um, the other thing on this figure that I don't necessarily like, and it's really more of a, would this be a real thing that an orc went into battle with, and that's the bare feet. I like the idea of having barefooted orcs, but at the same time, I don't know that I want an army of barefooted orcs either. I feel like you would want boots if you're going into battle. It's just more of a, it's just more of a personal thing. I would prefer boots. Again, like I really like these boots that Gorthok has, for example, like the Dark Dark Knight style. But it is a way to get more feet out into the world. For I know that's a weird thing to say, but it's uh it's something different, and we don't see a lot of barefooted figures in general. So that's probably a a conscious effort on the Horseman's part to just use that that actual part again, which is fine. Just not my cup of tea. Otherwise, of course, it looks fantastic. The figure is. Really well painted. Again, it is painted. It just doesn't have tons and tons of intricate detail. I love the metallic nature of this armor. I just don't like that very stark change from metallic to matte when it comes to that loincloth. The big focus for this figure is, of course, going to be this new head sculpt. And when I saw this on the back of the box, before I knew every little detail about this wave, I was super pumped to take a look at this because I really, really like this head sculpt. Uh, this is very reminiscent of some other orc heads in terms of, well, I mean, it's reminiscent of Gorthok's head too, in many ways, with that fin that runs down. But it's, of course, a very different shape. It's different different size. It's This is a more rounded head. Gorthok's head is kind of more rectangular, if that makes any sense. But you've got just the lower jaw exposed with those you know, like underbite teeth showing. I really like that. The helmet has a lot of pitting and battle damage. Paint on the face, what you can see is really well done. So you've got painted teeth and everything still. And then you've got the option to use these horns. You don't have to use them. They are separate pieces. So you could pop other things in there. I did of course mention that they do feel a little loose. That's that's both horns for me. Your mileage may vary. I'm not, not sure if that's across the board. Uh, but otherwise, I do think it's a pretty solid looking figure. It's definitely got Army Builder written all over it in terms of the parts and just the general look and feel of this figure. I'm definitely going to hit some of these rivets with some detail just to make some of that stuff stand out. But I think overall, this is a really, really cool Legion Builder. And it's nice, again, it's really nice to get more of that Shadow Orc onto the shelf. Now, as far as accessories goes, our Grunt has a pretty solid spread. It's nothing too crazy, but it's also just about one of everything you need. So, to start with, we do get an extra head sculpt. Gorthok also has one of these. I've, I've already shown that. And this is similar thematically to the other head sculpt. It's just a different style of helmet. We've seen this before on other figures. So, you've got exposed ears. You've got an exposed lower jaw. Uh, and then, of course, you've got the tusks. And it looks, you know, like this is meant to maybe be used to give the appearance of two two different heads. So two different heads that are two different orcs if you want to make some variation on your shelf so it's not just the same guy over and over and over. And then we do get these pauldrons, which are pauldrons that we saw in, what, the Ilithia wave? Dubon has these. And I, I'm not the biggest fan of these because they're kind of flimsy, but they also kind of work in this regard because, well, he's like a grunt, so there's going to be tons of these guys, which means they probably don't have, like, the most ostentatious or best armor by comparison. You know, like, your generals would have, like, better armor or something like that, or Gorthok as the leader would have better armor. So these do look like just your standard issue pauldrons, which actually seem to work pretty well here. Now, as far as weaponry goes, uh, he's got a set of, like, sort of coppery weapons, so you've got... Some really good stuff here, actually. I really love this sword. This is one of my favorites. We've seen this a lot. I always consider this the Morgolith sword because I think that's the first figure I ever really paid attention to it with. So it's got all this kind of crazy detail on the hilt. It's got runes inscribed in it. No paint, though, which is to be expected for a Legion Builder. We've got the curved axe with the wooden handle. And then we've got the... The mace, the four like bladed mace, and I really like this one. This is probably what I'll use with him. I feel like this fits this guy a little bit better than the sword, but I do like all of these accessories. And then if you want to use it, you do get the strap as well. No back adapters included with this guy. So he has a pretty solid spread here. I love this head sculpt. It's one of my favorite head sculpts in the line, especially when it comes to orcs. And then he does have some pretty solid accessories overall. So yeah, overall, really happy with this guy. Again, I don't necessarily like every single thing about this figure, and that's that's gonna happen, right? I'm not, not every figure is gonna be everything I want. It's mostly just small things, though. I don't really like the color on that loincloth piece. I feel like it's way too different in finish and color. And then I'm not a big fan of the bare feet on this particular guy. I just don't feel like an army of orcs would go into battle barefoot. It just doesn't seem appropriate to me. 
sounds so dumb to say that, but that's just what it seems to me. I'd prefer him to have actual boots. Otherwise, though, absolutely love it. I really like the other parts cho uh, choices here. I like the torso, and I really like that belt. I love the bracers and the knee guards as well. Those are some of my favorite older style parts. The head sculpt is tremendous. I really love it. It's very, it's very grunty. It makes perfect sense to utilize that here. And then, of course, I really like the fact that it's just a shadow orc. It's a different color of orc that we don't have a lot of representation of so far. And this is a really good way to build that out. So that's going to do it for this look at the Mythic Legion's reinforcements to Shadow Orc Grunt. Let me know what you guys think. Feel free to like, comment, subscribe, and share. And until next time. <laughs>